When you call for just any ambulance service, you never know what you might get. But when you call Vinyl Care at 423-562-9370, you'll get an experienced staff, experienced and professional people who know what the word emergency really means. Don't just trust anyone. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. 562-9370. Hello, this is David Grimm of your sports report. Going back to Friday, the final night of the district tournament, congratulations go out to the Lady Rams of Robertsville who beat the Lady Eagles of Jefferson to advance to the sectionals 39-32. to Leading the charge for the Lady Rams was Brianna Dunbar, who dropped 14 big points on the Lady Eagles. Up next was Tarika Dean with six, while Destiny Kastner had five. For the Lady Eagles, they were led in scoring by Amara Howard with 11 points. Jada Ginn had eight. Jasmine Hembry had seven, but couldn't get any team scoring going, and they finished in second place. Still good enough to take both teams to the sectionals in Survival. Finishing in third place was Our Lady Owls of La Follette Middle School, who won, as we told you Friday, but no sooner than they went to Sevierville, they lost Saturday to Union Grove in an ugly game. No scoring for neither team as Our Lady Owls lost 26-25. to That sounds like a halftime score, doesn't it? But that was your final. I told you it was ugly. They say third time's a charm, but it depends on who you ask. But not so in this case, as the Eagles of Jacksboro Middle School surprised the heavily favored Owls of Favala Middle School in the boys game to advance Friday to Sevierville. The Owls had owned the Eagles all year long, beating them at both places. They had to do it yet again, and they didn't, losing 41-30. to Jacksboro Middle School bigs had a big game inside, especially Elijah Phillips, who showed up big time. He stunned the Owls with 17 big points. Evan Jackson had 11, John Porter added 8, Jaron Bain chipped in three, and Jordan Henry added two. But they mostly distributed ball inside all game long. Leading the out was Colby Bailey, who was cold all night. He missed a lot of shots. He only had ten points, but after a while, they stopped feeding him. Carter Wells had six. Johnny Nelson had four. Tanner Davis got a big three, but that was back in the first quarter, and that's all he got the rest of the way, as that's what he wound up with. As good as the Eagles did Friday night at Robertsville, they too lost Saturday at Sevierville to Maryville, 50-45. It's been a great year for us here at the Sports Report, covering the Eagles and the Owls, and they have represented us very well all season long, and I know they'll be back next year. Calvary Christian Academy, quality academics and biblical character? You can receive both. All the things you want in a school for your child. Grade levels K through 12, phonetic based reading, individualized curriculum, diagnostic testing, character building, and biblical principles. For more information, contact Calvary Christian Academy, 2139 Jacksboro Pike, P.O. Box 1402, La Follette, Tennessee. Phone 423-562-7267. 423-562-7267. Now we're sure of this because we confirmed it this past weekend with Shane Wolfenberger. The Camel County High School boys soccer team will practice February the 10th in front of the high school. Anyone wishing to play, then they need to be right there, right after school, on the front of the school. Our Lady Cougars won over the Lady Dragons of Clinton the other night. I guess you already know if you watched the game live on the WLAF Sports Network. 61-37, but the boys lost big 70-56 to push them down even further in district standings. Now, they have a home game against Powell Tuesday night, but I'm sure they have a makeup on Monday. I don't know, but you can check our web channel at 1450WLAF.com to see when their next game will be. And rest assured, we will carry that live game on our network at 1450WLAF.com with the voice of the Cougars and the Lady Cougars, Josh Parker. The Blue Devils have three homies this week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and we'll get up there to one of them. I don't know which one yet, but we'll check on our friends at Jellicoe High School, and we'll go up there and cheer them on and take a little bit of video and some pictures. They had their baseball meeting Sunday at the old West LaFolle School cafeteria. And from the looks of it, about 25 to 30 coaches showed up. But that was some assistance, so I'm sure they still need coaches in all age groups. You can sign up right now for the Campbell County Youth Baseball League at the Rec Center. Don't worry, it's still Dixie Youth. 
and they're taking sign-ups right now according to league president Jerry Faust. You can contact the Follow Recreation Center at 423-562-9424 for more information. Now their next meeting will be on Sunday, March the 2nd at 2 p.m. at the Old West Lafollette School Cafeteria, same place they had it Sunday. They'll discuss rules, background forms for coaches, yeah they do, background checks, and assistant coaches also. And if you would like to be an umpire, they had some questions about some of the umpires last year and I brought this up. If you would like to be an umpire in this league, then contact Jerry Faust or you can find out more at the Recreation Center. Just call them down there. The Camel County Youth Basketball League season ending basketball tournament will start up Monday afternoon and as far as I know, it's at all three locations but we don't know a time yet. I'm thinking five o'clock, but get on cougarsrock.net and we'll have that time for you if we find out at a later date, but right now we don't know. Okay, that's all the local sports I've got for you today. I thank you for being with us. You guys stay tuned. There's a whole lot more to come right here on WLAF.